There you are. Hello there. It is so nice to meet you. I'm so glad we could go on this date together. If you don't mind, I wrote a few romantic things to tell you on my notepad before we got here. Um, uh, would you like me to read them to you? Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay, let's see here. Um, can I smell your feet? Speaking of dates, I have a cat outside the door. Oh, yes, there we go. My secret date weapon. Ah, oh, and he's gone. Well, that went well. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lazos. Welcome to the clique. You smell absolutely amazing today. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. <laughs> Trust me. I know. So today, uh, we're gonna do something beautiful, something that should be considered very educational. Have you ever wondered what to do on a first date? What to tell someone? How to charm people? Well, do anything but the things we do in this video, and you will probably be better than 50% of people out there, because god damn, people have forgotten how to socialize, or maybe they didn't know in the first place the internet just showcases it really cringeworthy. Welcome to Incel Pickup Lines! What better way to celebrate this fine Sunday evening? Enjoy. Mwah. Pokemane. <laughs> Poop. Smiley. Can I smell it? I, I would. I would say. I would say no. It's. It, that's a no. No. It's definitely no. Excuse me, just passing through. Gropes you. Oh, I'm sorry. My hand slipped. Looks down in shame. Where are my manners? My name is Scott. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Ah, yes. Nothing says a gentleman conversation quite like shaking your crotch. Apparently, that's. Wow. Socializing meta is so freaking bad that just saying hi with a, with a little thumbs up emoji is like better than 80% of the stuff I see out there, you know? <laughs> so I think a, a message of positivity out there is just like, uh, no, nobody likes these kind of people, but at least they set the bar low. <laughs> Wait, that's not a good thing at all. <laughs> oh dear. Hello, Wavy! I made yourself. My mother died in a car accident last month. My dad showed me pictures of you on Instagram and we were talking about how incredible your star eye emoji. My dad said your body is fit mm, and that you work out. He said you're a juice. What? Sorry, my dad is weird. I think you have the face of an angel. Oh, I want a cute stuff with you. Nothing disgusting like my dad though. Sorry, I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> I love how you're managing to be so creepy as an eight-year-old, but shame your dad at the same time and just out him for like, oh yeah, my dad is creeping on people on Instagram, don't worry. Can you marry my dad so you can be my new mother? I miss having a packed lunch just to take me with me to school. My dad hits himself sometimes and throws things because he is depressed that my mommy died. I am scared. Can you be my new mommy? Please come to our house and be my new mommy. You love my dad and he'll love you, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna preface this by saying this reads like a troll post, right? I'm gonna assume this is a troll, but it's a very fascinating offer. Please come to this abusive household of this random person who's already creeping on you, and I've already creeped you out as the child, and and uh, just over... Oh, it's so... What? This is like in a random person's inbox. What? <laughs> What is this? This, that is, this is insane. I mean, to be fair, as a creator, you do get some some pretty uh, nutty messages sometimes. It is uh, it's bonkers. If it didn't feel insensitive, I would definitely make videos on it. Cause my God, it it go it really goes there. You better freaking listen to me, bitch. My child is five years old now, but in thirteen years he'll freak you. He will be a glorious threesome. I'm a rich man, so I do whatever the freak I want, and I always get my way. Mark my words. Uh, nothing says functioning family like setting up your five year old and and forcefully get him to do naughties to some random person you threaten over DMs. Woo! The world is a glorious fine place. They say that the, like, Game of Thrones universe is full of debauchery and, like, uh, questionable morals. They have not seen real life. <laughs> Please. You are perfectly beautiful, but you talk to vulgar men online. That's something that needs improvement. When someone is vulgar, a princess-like attitude is a cold shoulder to vulgarity. Block the vulgar ones. But instead, you blocked me, uh, the preacher who loves you. It is understandable because you're female of incipient understanding. You see, it's okay that you don't like me. It's not because I'm creepy. It's because your brain is broken or because the brain is female. But to this person is... Like the same thing. God. <laughs> Do these people read their own stuff before they sent it? Hey there, you're stupid. Why don't you like me? It's ah! This is why a patriarchal society like the medieval Catholic society is ideal. In such a society, vulgar 
peasants don't get to talk to a princess or refined peasant either. Are you talking about? Are you talking about your potential date as refined peasant? Oh, you're not a peasant. You're just a refined mud crawler. <laughs> the negotiations are with your dad, and your dad isn't going to be tolerating scoundrels who ask you to show your babonkas. Instead, he would have given you to me as a wife long ago because you're property in my perfect world. You belong to me, and I can do what I want with you because I am a functional self-conscious, I don't know, adult who functions nor- No. No. You know, by the way you act alone and your inability to do this, even if we lived in a horrible medieval society that where, you know, these kind of values exist, I don't think you would be on the top of the ladder anyway. I'm just gonna put that out there. You're assuming, like, your rich daddy is gonna- is gonna provide you with the wife. It's like- it's so- <laughs> I don't want to use the term, but even in this kind of ideology, it's so freaking beta. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Love that username. Hey, Smiley. I saw you and I thought, hey, she seems like one of the super smart ones on Reddit. She's probably some nerdy relationship therapist or some shite. And reading through your posts, you seem like a pretty sweet down-to-earth kind of girl. And it's kind of silly, too, and I like that. So I'm right all about that or what. P. I love the way you express and show yourself through your post. Something about you just stood out when I was stumbling through some Reddit threads. Where are you from, by the way? What? <laughs> Give me a response that doesn't make you sound like an R word. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go again, like with the I'm such a nice guy. I will just toss a little bit of slurs your way if you don't agree on a date. <laughs> because I am that nice. It's a fair bit of money, but I I figured you're worth it. <laughs> What's a good time for a date, beautiful? Um, uh, who are you? Actually, I don't want to know. Please never text me again. Wow, I went through all this trouble and you just reject me? I went through $40 just to get your phone number. You ungrateful bitch! I'll still go out with you if you change your mind, but I don't think for one second that it will be anywhere nice! Ah, oh, you know, if we go out now after you've rejected me once, you can beg for me to take you back, but then we're going to McDonald's drive through In some parts of the world, a woman could be stoned to death for talking to a generous, loving man like you just did. Consider yourself on a thin line. You mean thin ice? Thin line? I've never heard that. But okay, that is, uh, that, that's pretty yikes. Hey, do you know that some other place in the world that sounds horrible, I could casually kill you for declining my amazing date and then threatening with a worse date when you declined the first one, which wasn't very good to begin with? <laughs> oh, what a shame we don't live there. <sighs> What in the ass is is this is this, is this all about? Why is this so common nowadays? It's like in an alternate universe, you could have been my property. What? Yo, what's good? <laughs> I'm gay, but you can change that. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Why, if that is true, why would you be interested in saying this in the first place? I just imagine this in like another situation where it's like a weird DM to like Henry Cavill or something. Just, hey man, I'm straight, but you know, you can change me. It's like, okay, but but like, <laughs> fam, fam, fam. Okay, that's the first racist thing that happened to me. It made me feel real cheap, but that's his opinion about my people. Just because I fell asleep when he wanted to hang out, some people are so low, I swear. It's disgusting that people like this exist. We are a great people, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, let's see what uh, Timmy has to say here. We'll get something to eat, though. Why? What's the issue? This is the thing with you. You fat, R-worded, naive piece of poo. Glad the Canadian people effed your ancestors over. You don't deserve a darn place on this land. Frickin' STD-infested cave <laughs> men and women. You're not the first obese native girl out there. You won't be the last. Your people are a effing abomination to the earth. So insecure. Nothing worth more than a damn slave. Wait, wait a second. Wait, you're, you're going off on this like <laughs> slur infested spewing. <laughs> you're calling someone else insecure because they didn't text you back in time. <laughs> Please. I'm already sweating. I'm just five minutes into the video, for God's sake. You'll never be a white girl! One white girl is worth a hundred of you- Oh my god. I mean every damn word, too. You really should K-Y-S. I would if I was that fat and shapeless. You might as well be a darn animal. That's why you treaties are trash freaking savages. Oh, dear, this is- oh, oh, yeah. You really have a way with words, and when I say that, I mean like a horrible way. You know when a train derails, it's technically still on the way. It's just really bad. That's what you're doing. You really think you're all that? You are nothing. I just wish the white people finished the job, SMH. 
you know, there, there's like online gamer rage, right? And there's whatever the heck this is. Um, I, I fell asleep. Yeah, that's, that's your opinion. Uh, have a good day. You're, you're playing with me. And I would never KMS over what someone has to say about me. I am not kidding. I fell asleep, but yeah, thanks. What, what are you up to? I'm, I'm sorry. I should never said those things. Yeah, what, well, whatever. Can we, can we talk? What's your phone number? Why you say mean things about me and my people? Ain't no coming back from that. Yes, indeed. Someone doesn't reply to your text fast enough. You better call them a lot of horrible things, call them obese, and then insult their entire heritage. That is the best way to go about it, like a true Sigma male. I need to talk to you. Let me know when you're free. I'm free right now. Did something happen? I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm crazy for you. Mad even. I spent Sunday and Monday thinking about doing forced naughty stuff to you, doing violent things to you, taking care of you. Okay, that's a bit of a... That's a bit of a contrast. I cannot take you out of my mind. Your face, when you look at me, your mouth, your taste, the way you gave yourself to me. I still cannot take your smell out of my mind. I want to offer myself. I don't know exactly what we are, but I'm not gonna share you with anyone. Oh, gee, you know that fun first date when you get locked in a basement for a few years? That, that seems like a treat. Heck yeah, you know, it's rent-free housing. There we go. Hey, yeah, it's all about silver lining. And, you know, even, even a pile of poo has a... Sil silver lining, I, if you try very really hard. Why do I find such cool girls that have good personalities and so much in common just to find out they got some piece of poo boyfriend? Like, what the frick? I am a piece of poo. Why couldn't you take me? <laughs> <laughs> this this, this kind of this rings like a joke, though. It's worrying that it's sent on Snapchat because that's like a breeding ground for creepy messages. So I'm going to go 50-50 whether or not this is satire or not. But if it is satire... It's pretty funny. It's like when you say, Hey girl, I heard you like bad boys. Well, <laughs> I'm bad at everything. You are friends on Facebook. <laughs> hey, beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, ignore you like you enjoyed my greetings. <laughs> In both good and bad ways. But I think that's what makes me fun. You just get a good mix. Find a guy like me with a good mix of everything, but good luck finding him. Ha ha ha, thanks for the good luck. Let me know what he says, I'm curious. Oh, I'm willing, I'm curious Lamau. He's probably napping because he didn't get any sleep last night. What a P word. If you did the naughties to me and I lost some sleep, I definitely would not be bishing about it. I don't know, that's just how I feel. Right? Wait, this this is just some, some dude. And and the, the GF talking smack about the boyfriend like this. This is this is so trashy, man. This is so trashy. If you really think your partner is that bad or whatever, just move on. I mean, if you're in the position where you're trashing your partner like this, I think either you're just a broken, narcissistic person, or you shouldn't be in the relationship in the first place, and you shouldn't definitely do this. This is like when people say, like, oh my god, it's their fault I cheated because because they weren't good enough. And it's like, no, you then then you should have just moved on if that was the case. You you're just poopy. Unsolicited pee pee pick. <laughs> Thoughts? Be honest. Now you're just playing with me. Forget my number for real. I don't even know your name, so it should be easy. Uh, wow. I told you, no pee pee pics, and what the frick do you do? Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> it's my body. If I'm not appealing to you, then this whole conversation is moot. Now it comes down to respect. Clearly you have none with women. Go ahead and try your methods on some other women. See how they work. Makes sense while you're single. You're so freaking blocked now. Uh, wow. I'm engaged, so you're shallow. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait. You said pee pee pics to people unsolicited. And when you get called out... <laughs> Your glorious comeback is to say you're engaged. So you're not only a creep, you're also a cheater. <laughs> that was the ace up your sleeve. Really? You know, if that's the ace up your sleeve, it's kind of like you're playing poker. And you just Haha, pull out a Uno card. That That's what this ace feels like. It's just what? <laughs> I just found out that I have cancer. Uh, please do naughty stuff with me. Uh, exclamation mark, question mark. Irresistible offer. Um, no. Hi! Hi. What's up? Not much, what about you? I just woken up today to do yard work. <laughs> Super annoyed. Oh. Yeah, lol. Um, how, how old are you? 17. Oh, lol, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 20. <laughs> That's okay with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm 18 in two months. Lol, I can see you're looking for something. I'm actually going on a date today, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. I mean one myself, Lamau, with a stepdaughter. What? Is... What? Ask what about me? Small talk 101. I don't feel like small talk. Ah, oh, so let's go for the big talks. Are you gay or what? And uh, no. And single? 
No? Okay, then I offer you a marriage proposal. Three kids max, seven years. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Straight to the straight to the Discord marriage proposal. Oh heck yes, smooth like sandpaper. Yeah. Oh no, it keeps going. No, please. I have a boyfriend. Read again. I didn't say I wanted to be your BF. I'm not interested in marriage with you. You will live in my house under my roof. You will be blocked. No need to work and with whatever you want. Ah, oh, okay, I see. So so she can still keep her boyfriend, but you are the husband who. I don't know about this, fam. This also feels like one of those basement locky scenarios. Yo, 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 I'm a man. You're a woman. What else is there to say? Let's make that magic happen, bish. Oh, yeah, just closing it off with bish. It's like when you leave kind regards in the bottom of an email. I hope this email finds you unwell. Or even better, I hope this email finds you before I do. <sighs> Best regards. Hi there. I hope my lunch is okay. Wow, I, I love your outfit for school. I'm very, very beautiful. Kissy, kissy. Weirdo, I am 15. Get the frick out. 44 M straight. I love naughty girls getting to know. Oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why do these people exist, man? No need to be back and for you over muffin, but if I can get rice, maybe you can take part in that interest. But I'm not trying to be ugly, mobintentious, really uh, good, but trying to come with Uber is hell gore for me, I hope. <laughs> Understand, I look a bit with shigby. Cut the with this again, you made me sploosh in record timing. Don't think if love that again, stop. Please, no taying to be a Ugly, but say something nice, please. <laughs> and there's a pee pee pick. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh my god, he has a way with words. We have found our new Shakespeare. Oh, it is beautiful. We're supposed to have evolved past this point, right? Right? We're like the, some sort of pinnacle of evolution, right? Right? Hello, beautiful women. <laughs> I don't like small talk. Let's just skip to the naughties. What's your address, babe? Oh, gee, I love getting kidnapped, good sir. I'm always in for a little bit of adventure. I have a unique set of skills that I have developed over the course of a dozen years. I will look for you. And I will find you. And I will do naughty stuff with you. Ooh, that's that's just creepy cringe and probably borderlining on illegal. That's uh, that's 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 a no go, bro. Hi, Smiley. <laughs> I hope you don't mind that I did self naughty stuff to your profile picture. Thanks! Exclamation <laughs> mark. Okay, I'll block myself now. Bye. <laughs> at least at least, bro, know when to tap out, right? No, you you're wrong. But just in case you want to talk, my number is this. Sorry, uh, that was stupid. I hate myself. A lot, a lot of stupid, yeah. Here's the thing. You started off really horrible, right? Really freaking bad, but then at least you tapped out before digging further. But then you're just like, hmm, rock bottom isn't bottom enough. Here we go, here's my number. Please reach out to me after this amazing opener, and we have broken through rock bottom. Our accomplishments. Hey, you're 13, right? I would like to invite you to my daughter's sweet 13 party in Disneyland. She's from your high school, Blorp. My daughter would invite you, but she is, she's shy. She's totally real. <laughs> I will buy the plane ticket and everything. No worries. What is your mother's phone number? So I can arrange everything. I want you to feel safe the whole way. You can look up my name on the naughty registers list. I'm not a P word or <laughs> whatever. I'm just a good father trying to make his daughter proud. Sorry, I said too much. Just <laughs> to mention all the best. You know that gif when there's a guy standing on like a playground just screaming, I'm not a P-word! I'm not a P-word! And all the families are just like, what? 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 <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's really sus. It's a really sus specification. I wouldn't, I would, mmm. Hello, is this Billy? Uh, yep, and who would you be? I guess, lol. I don't really want to, mate. <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Ringing the bells, a lot of laughing emojis because I'm a funny man. I'm not playing this game, boy. Oh, trust me, I am a man. And Billy with a big bahonkers, right? <laughs> I'd love to go on those. Rob my, a uh, lot of in intimate stuff, and I'm not reading that. Oh, dear God. Oh, Lord. Call me daddy. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm crying and sweating. Absolutely freaking not. <sighs> I miss you. I'm kidding. It's Blorp, remember? 
I'm not sure I want to remember you, Blorp. When I go for a drive, I got my car last week. You seem lovely. Are you dense? Go away, man. Do because I'm a bit overweight, you won't date me? Ah, oh, yes, it's totally because you're weight. That's... That's the only reason, Dree. Even though I treat you like my queen, Billy, and buy you everything you could ever want, I own a business, you'd never have to work again, and I'd love you to the end of Earth, baby. Please don't block me, I am a good guy, hon Estly. I know you like the bad boys, but give a nice guy a chance for once. I'll never use you for your body. Blorp, who? From work. The other day I walked down the road, the same company, but different gliding. Uh, building. Oh, you have fricked yourself. Huh? Why would you send pervy explicit messages to a woman you work with? HR would love this. I. Oh, oh, frick off. My uncle owns the company. I'm fine. But you may be fricked when I tell him what a frigid mare you are. Think you can threaten me? My family owned you. We pay your salary. Learn one respect. Uh, learn some. Ah, so not only learn one respect, it's like learn learn some of it. You need more than your singular respect. Got it. You know, you know, here's the thing, buddy. The odds of your uncle being equal creepy as you are, it's not it's not imp impossible, but it's unplausible, right? Uh, secondly, even if HR doesn't address it seriously, this is a raging freaking lawsuit. So you know, the, uh, sitting there playing all big and ballsy. Probably not the way to go about this. I'm gonna be perfectly honest there, fam. Here's some wonderful dude. Send me free shit or get blocked. <laughs> the Naughty Hub is free in the mouth. Huh? B block me then. Go watch the Naughty Hub. <laughs> Gay. Get a job. Stop embarrassing yourself. Eventually, the family's gonna find out that if they don't talk to you, how sad. You know what? I'll see none of my cops or kids hiding pens. Your IP isn't hard to find. Use your VPN before you get a case. Imagine getting manned over not getting free content. Embarrassing. Lemao! Like I care about your content? I not know life who does the naughties. I actually consider myself a good person. Ah, uh, yes, the good person who's threatening to, like, dox people and ruin their life and try to get them disconnected from their family because they wouldn't send you stuff for free over over DMs. Uh, and also, you don't care about that stuff, so, like, but you're still here ranting and threatening about it. But, but yes, indeed. Oh, my God. Ah, the true definition of a wonderful person. Good enough to give me the chance to block me before I get your IP and send cops to whatever you are for harassing minors, along with soliciting the nudity before you know the whole deal, give me five minutes. Oh, yes, indeed. Here we got an edgy 12-year-old. I had something similar happen to my Discord recently. We had someone who was like, Unban me or we will delete the Discord. I was like, huh. <laughs> all right, all right there, Timmy, 12 years old, and good luck. Myla, be my girlfriend. I feel so lonely right now, for real. L. Ah, uh, W word. You know what the slutiest thing a whamming can do? Not sleep with me. <laughs> you know, you know, ignoring the fact that, you know, shaming random people and that kind of stuff is very trashy, but, and also, you know, that it's exact, uh, you know, opposite of the definition of the word. But apart from those very interesting factoids, yes. Do you want to date me? Um, no. Fine. I'll wait a hundred years if I have to. I'll be dead by then. Oh, okay. Price is open your casket. You don't look so bad. Lifts you out carefully from the mahogany burial box. You need a shower. Bades you. All clean now. Smiley. J -j 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 this is sick. You need some milk to keep those bones healthy. Unbuckles belt. You know, sometimes you read something and, uh, and you can just see your whole school journey flash before your eyes, and you'll regret ever learning how to read. Good evening, young lady. Who gave you permission to post those semi-naked photos on your socials? Do your parents know about this? You look like you're 15 years old. How old are you, really? Do you know that it's very improper to post those dirty, dirty things on the internet for others to see? You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm a very concerned father with several children myself. I do not condone your behavior online. Don't you realize that this could impact your chances of getting into college and your whole career? Think about the consequences of your actions. I will be contacting your parents. Uh, there, there is also a cafe near your apartment. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Or near the school you go to. Oh, you know the school. Oh, that's really creepy. No. And we can meet there so I can give you further guidance. <laughs> <laughs> About how to save your life. I am very concerned about your future. It's a shame to see such potential go to waste. Think before you post. You'll be seeing me soon. Stay tuned. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hello there, underage person. Uh, who's who 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 caught my interest due to due to lewdness. Um, what? The, oh dear God. Oh dear fucking God. Yes, indeed. Come to my basement for more courses on how to not act naughty online. I am genuinely c concerned. That you're not in my basement or something like that, I don't freaking know, man. 
Hey, beautiful. Uh, who is this? It's Blorp from your psych class. I don't know a Blorp. How did you get my number? <laughs> your friend Blorp gave it to me? I just wanted to say you were so beautiful, and I wanted to take you out on Sunday. <clears throat> oh, wait, Saturday. Sorry, my bad. Gee, okay, now it's much better. Sorry, I am happily engaged, and I am a lesbian. Sorry to disappoint, and I really think it's sketchy to go out with someone I barely know. But, but I'm an attractive and funny guy, and could probably treat you way better than that... D word. Oh no. You're dating. You probably aren't even gay. You just. I'm so sick of C words like you. All you C words want to do is make nice guy feel like pee pee's for trying to talk to you. I am super at something. Tch, trying to go after the next Chad. Oh, you really went that whole way. You're just. You're just like an r slash nice guy in a nutshell, aren't you? Well, I hope you get HIV and pass it on to your children, you inbred C word. So you have literally brought. Wait a second. Wait. You've literally used homophobic big slurs, you've called them a c-word, you have, you've insulted them for making them feel bad trying to guilt trip them, you've gone into insult terminology, and you've also threatened with STDs, hope you pass it on to children to threaten the potential offspring, and then you insult their, their family lineage. This is in like two text messages fam, that's not good. Well, yikes, your messages are all freaked up, but I don't want to waste my time on a piece of poo like you, peace out. <laughs> Girls are all the same. I hope your D-word GF chokes on your private parts. All right. Well, what a classy fella. Well, you know, when they say, like, dodge the bullet, this is more like dodging a cruise missile. Uh, very nice. Hey, <laughs> you probably think I'm a follow or something, understandably. On the contrary, I am quite alive. I stumble on your account and I'm wondering if you are okay. It seems you've been down for the count lately and wanted to check up on you. Um, oh. Uh, thank, thank you. You're trying to do it, bodies? No, 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 that's no, no, not where this is. <laughs> hey there, you having a good day? <laughs> no, stop it. See, see, cease. Hi. Um, hi. Feedbacks. What? Please. <laughs> At least they <laughs> said please. I like the fact that just because they said please, even though it's really creepy and weird, just because they said please, it's better than like 80% of the messages in here. That's the wildest part. It's still like completely unhinged and out there, but it's just... <laughs> it's still in the top 20%. <laughs> oh, dear God. The standard is so low, man. Oh, no, it keeps going. No, man, I just gave you like a semi-compliment. Please don't... It keeps going. No. I'm a good person. I deserve it. Why do you F slurs never do anything for good people? I am a good person proceeds to call me a slur. Because you won't do what I say, you freaking prick. Can I drink your uh, bodily liquids? What the hell? Mm, you know, you know, I gave you, I gave you like a, like a slight backhanded compliment for that please you used. And I take that back. You have the prettiest eyes and also don't take this the wrong way, but you have a very sploosh-able face, like you would be perfect for one. That is not how to talk to anyone ever. Please, good, no, don't talk to humans ever again. Don't, just don't do it. You can live with the wolves. Hi, are you a submissive object? <laughs> I, I heard that people love being objectified. <laughs> I'm a bit of a smooth talker myself. Girls, be like, I want a man who has his poo together, and then go out and drink 12 vodka sodas and cry in the street at 2 a.m. I'm gonna be honest, just like a couple of thoughts that spring to mind. Uh, number one, this is unironic. Oh dear God. Number two, I think not having your shite together is uh, is a phenomenon that's not specifically gender bound. And number three, the second part of it, it it's fascinating to me that people always think that like a, a gender or a large group of people is always like a hive mind. Like, oh, I, I saw this this one person of a particular gender get, getting too drunk. And then this other completely unrelated adult person didn't w want me in their bedroom. Uh, how, how can they have standards? It's like, but fam, it's not even the same person. And, and I, I, I will guarantee you that even the person who got, who got shite-faced probably has higher standards than, than this. Hi, I am Danny. Why is it that you white girls hate black guys? I, I don't hate black guys. I just have a boyfriend. Oh, this is even before any replies. You just claimed racism before, <laughs> before any reply. <laughs> you won't cheat. Must be racism. Hi there. Would you enjoy a world where girls are property? <laughs> Being put up for auction before your first period. Bought by a pervy old man who uses you for his pleasure. Who makes you his clothing with holes that show things. Uh, and to and other people watch with envy. I would rather KMS, thanks. These people are real, man. That's... Wow. Wow.
They're probably a self-proclaimed intellectual as well. That makes it that makes it even wilder. Oh, uh, let me guess. Not long after you've started talking to me, you have matched with a taller, better-looking guy who has hair. Uh, please answer me. Now you've removed me on hinge. I want to know why I'm never freaking good enough, miserable on my trip. No, I would have asked you out sooner, but I was afraid you wouldn't want to. I was right, of course. Cutest girl I've talked to in years, and I'm of course not good enough. This is clearly what happened. Okay, well, you take care then blow up. I am extremely depressed now. Please just admit that you didn't realize I was bald at first, and after matching you saw. Then you weren't interested right off the bat. I am an idiot, but I know what happens if all you wanted was naughty, as you should have said, so that's all I'm good for. Now you're telling yourself, dodged a bullet or something, as if you were ever serious about talking to me at all. Ah! Oh! I wish you could just admit that you were off put as soon as you realized I was bald, so I don't have to pretend that it's anything else. I'm sorry if I offended you. I really can't help you feel better because the reason I'm not interested is because of all the texts. I really wish you luck and hope that you will respect how I feel. So, so, so when you were ignoring me all the time, you were actually wanting to hear from me? Because it doesn't seem like it's the text. It seems like you weren't interested and then the text is the reason enough to say you're done. I respect how you feel because nobody freaking likes me. Bald before I could drink. Now I'm too old and bald for anyone attracted. And when I am ignore, I'm not stupid. I know what it really is. I really hope that I die soon. I'm tired of living this life. Only good for my PP. Not that you were attracted to me or wanted to do naughties with me. Anyway, I hope you get murdered here. Oh, I get murdered here. Oh, okay, well, that's that's still kind of dark, though. Ignore me, then. Claim it's my texts. Okay, I've been hoping the death will find me for a long time. Recently tried to get back into dating because my therapist says I'm worth it and that I am worthy. But it's just the same perpetual cycle of being told I'm not good enough. Gee, oh my god. I think I- okay. Okay, if this is really how you feel, and this isn't just, you know, a a manipulative scheme for emotional blackmail to, to get laid, you should probably talk to your therapist about how to stabilize your life before finding someone, because the truth is that if this is a state of being before you're even going on a date or even find someone you're interested in, it's not going to magically fix itself just because you, like, watch Netflix together and eat popcorn, you know? This, this, is, this is some very deep-rooted issues. And if you are legitimately that insecure about it, look at bald men. You know, look at freaking the Rock, for example, there are so many freaking, you know, Chad buff dudes that that are bald and they rock it. You know, it's, it's it's and people have preferences. If you meet someone that's like, oh no, I'm not into baldness, that's fine. Move on to the next person. Dating involves a pretty decent amount of rejection that sadly comes with it. Not particularly fun, but it definitely comes with it. So make sure you are in a good enough mental space before you get into it. It's probably a good idea, because you will face a decent amount of rejection. As for the reason they're not interested, you basically came here with, with one of those cargo ships full of baggage and dumped it on them before you had even met them for a first date. This seems to be basically the first text since you got their number, which is not particularly intriguing. Because when you go on a date, you know, something you're thinking is, is this someone I want in my life? And dumping something like this is, well, not really. Um, helping out friends and stuff who are in need is always something I'm, I'm very uh, pro and something you should do. You should be there for people you know and people you care about. But there is a difference between bringing random strangers into your life who will drag you down versus helping someone. Because, like I said, I think you have deeper things to fix before you can go on functional dates with people. Also, emotional blackmailing is a bad thing. Do not do not do it. This kind of stuff of like, I'm depressed, you go out with me, please, because that's the only way to fix me. It's just manipulative and it's not going to create anything healthy and it's going to be miserable for anyone. Please don't do that. Uh, hi, how are you, missed video call? Um, who is this? I want to talk to you, missed video call. Who? Is this? Hi, how are you? Missed video call, missed video call. Who is this? I want to talk to you. Can I get to know you? Why? Sorry if you are married. Can I get to know you? Roses and flowers and hmm. Uh, do you know you look very similar to someone I was talking to before? That wasn't me. Not sure how you found my account, but you need to stop calling me. I don't know you. Let's uh, get to know each other. Uh, no, I don't imagine that ever works. Stop bothering women. I owe you nothing. I got the number through an app. Uh, just sorry, B but I swear to you my intentions is good. Feel free to delete the number. I don't know you or how you got it. I won't randomly get to know you or anyone else. Most women will be the same. Bye. Belize, just a little of your time. 
Absolutely not. This is more of my time than I need to give you. I don't know what you're going on in your life, but you don't know me, so you shouldn't be calling me repeatedly. I am blocking your number now. My advice is to find a less creepy way to make friends. Uh, your number? I swear to you that I got it by chance. It was an application that adds numbers to WhatsApp from all over the world. Oh, you just... Oh, no, that's... that's Oh, that's weird. And when I saw your picture, I wanted to get to know you. I did not mean to bother you, said. My second and last piece of advice. When someone says no, it means no. Bye now. And here's stuff that I really can't read. Is it Arabic and then it's French? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that is so weird. Is this a thing that happens? That there are just like spam lists of WhatsApp numbers and you can see the profile pictures and people seek it out? This is like Omega creeps on steroids. It's wild. Hey, Blorp. I had a nice time on our date, but I don't know if I felt a spark. <laughs> Sorry to let you down, XO. Yeah, no worries. I honestly felt the same, but I did have a nice time. I hope you enjoyed your coffee. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Pathetic. Pretending you don't care just because you didn't get a chance with me, lol. <laughs> Freaking man, W word. I hope your next GF gives you AIDS. Okay, I see I dodged a bullet. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs> Was this someone just trying to play hard to get and it backfired and they were super pissy about it? <laughs> Is that what happened? Oh my god, what are these games people play, man? I am so glad I'm not on the dating market. Ah, oh, dear god. Good morning. <laughs> you, you passed on a good one. <laughs> You're not even that cute to ignore me. You see? You see, I was interested, but I wasn't really after you replied. I was only reaching out because I felt bad for you because nobody could talk to someone a peasant like you. Oh, you should be grateful I reached out to you, but I'm gonna be the, the insecure one. But you're insecure because you didn't reply, so nailed it. When you ask a girl out and they politely decline. <laughs> Age O E. <laughs> and the fedora. Oh, just a classy way. Hi, I am Blorp's friend. I'm a bit worried about dating a single mother, but I have seen your pictures and you are incredible. Amazing eyes, your figure. Wow. Hi, wow, uh, thanks for the compliment, I, I guess. I'm a bit worried about dating a guy who's worried about being uh, with a single mom. Not a great opener, to be honest. I'll pass. Good luck to you. Uh, j just like that? Yeah, I'm not hard up for company. Take care. Oh, uh, okay. Sure, guys chase now the smexy thang. Just wait until 35 and no one wants you. Ha <laughs> ha sweetie, I'm 35 now. Oh, you just like unknowingly complimented her again. It's like, oh, just wait until you're this old. It's like, I'm already this old. I just look really freaking good. <laughs> oh, that really backfired. That was so satisfying to read. I am sure you've been asked a million times to see your bahonkers, but I am gonna ask anyway, blah, 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 blah. Tell your husband to stop being a perverted creep. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, dumb bitch, leave me and my family alone. Yes, I was drunk and asked to see your bahonkers that you flaunt all over Facebook. Go do the self harm thanks for trying to poo on my life. I was dumb, it was a mistake. Treat your wife better, arsehole. Wait, wait, so you reach out to them again, trying to say that, you know, oh, I'm innocent, I was only drunk. But now, in a sober state, you literally threaten them, uh, tell them that they should uh, basically off themselves, <laughs> and insulting them a bunch of times. So you're not only proving that you're creepy, you're also proving that you're a complete idiot. <laughs> God. Great news. I got the job and I'm starting training next week. Thanks so much for all your help. Uh, Netflix and chill to celebrate. Uh, no, what the frick? Uh, why not? I, I have a boyfriend, for starters. So? I've known you way longer, and not to be a peepee, -pee, but you kinda owe me. Excuse me? I'm just saying you would never have gotten the job without me putting good word for you. I figure that's the least you can do to say thank you for everything I've done for you. Oh gee, you know that kind of amazing person that only helps people to have like a, a one-up on them or to like try to blackmail them afterwards? Ooh. Yes, the, the genuine, the genuine friend. Other guys have had you on their knees for nothing, but I get ghosted after everything I've done for you, really? This can be a dream job you always wanted, or I can make it a living hell, it's up to you. Ah, yes, I would just send this directly to HR or his boss, like, right away. That is gonna be astounding. You could just take his job instead. You know, that'd be perfect. Wanna go again, then? <laughs> You're such an egg, Lamau. A egg? <laughs> I like to use non-offensive words to offend people. <laughs> uh, hey, can you send nudes? So sorry, dude, I don't really like you in that way. Freak off, N-word. <laughs> get cancer. <laughs> this is why you always get fricked over by guys. Because you let nice ones like me go. Mm, I like to use non-offensive words to offend people. <laughs> N-word. I'm also a nice guy, by the way.
Hello, my doctor said I needed to do the naughties within 24 hours or I will die from depression. You need to help me now. Mm, yes, indeed. Hey, you! I am your man from now on. You are my woman. Mine! You better freaking understand that. If you don't understand that, we are going to have a serious problem. Do we have a problem? <laughs> now you freaking listen now to me, bitch! I'm a good guy, great guy, the best! Ah, oh, you know, you know, start off the conversation with basically verbal abuse. That's, uh, <laughs> what a, what a catch. And you are going to be my wife, and that is that. So you better freaking understand that right now! Fam, the only people who would call you a good catch? are probably the cops. Yeah. What is cooking, hot poo? Licky emoji and poo? I am 12 years old, so I cannot have a girlfriend yet, but we can at least be cute friends. You are so my type. I can help manage your social media page and do video editing for your safe and work only fans. No one knows allowed. I am a dedicated and very helpful friend. Give me a chance. A sweaty licky and poo poo. Let's go, hot poo. We got this. Oh. Irresistible business emails. I love receiving professional business emails on my business email. Oh, I love business. I send this to women when they don't answer my DM. Congrats. You just get deleted by a seven f I don't I don't know what that means. I'm not sure if I should read it loud. Is it a bad word? I don't know. I'm confused. You miss your blessings in life with a true rich ah uh, n-word. Okay, there we go. I usually don't date outside of my tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> But since I ran into you twice back to back, I thought you were smarter than an average broke Ajo. But you're not, emoji. Stay or enjoy your average life. <laughs> I can why can't I just see that in the Tinder bio? Must be within my tax bracket. <laughs> now hiring a girlfriend full time. Please love me. Ah, isn't that just a beautiful way to round this off? Oh, yes, indeed. Thank you so much for watching this video. You absolute amazing being. I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day and stay amazing because you do deserve it. And I will see you in the very next video. Take care. Mwah.